Check it out. The motorcycle race trailer is now also a snowmobile trailer. Uh, I've got caliber edge glides. Those are the things on the edge of uh, the ramp door. And then these are also the caliber edge guards, which guard you from driving off the edge or getting hung up in the cables. Um, and then went with deck tread. Uh, so this material, you know, as you can see, allows water to uh, drain through, snow to melt through, and then gives it a lot of space to be able to dry out. Uh, so the floor is already painted, the whole interior is painted with uh, Sherman Williams Weather Shield paint. And uh, so I'm not too worried about water damage. I'm gonna dry it out after snowmobiling anyway. Um, so while I was at it, I installed a little bit more E-Track. I went with the vertical E-Track because it's uh, a little bit narrower than the traditional E-Track. I wish I would have known about this when I first started because these runs on the edges, um, those could have been done in this vertical E-Track and given me a little bit more floor space, but whatever. Now this actually makes kind of a, a level surface. It's all sort of the same, same height, so... Uh, I do need to use uh, the traditional e-track on uh, this one right here because I use these Moto Pro HQ wheel chocks so you can bring in all your bikes at an angle and just stack them in here. So anyway, I can fit uh, Aaron's Arctic Cat Blast 146 and my Skidoo Summit 154 in here. Put one snowmobile going in forward and the other one coming in backwards. That's why... I really, I wanted the traction and the edge, uh, edge glides, edge glides 2.0 to be able to uh, back in Aaron's sled and, uh, you know, not have to worry about that ski coming off the edge. Uh, I thought about just doing a whole bunch of the grip glides, but uh, I think this is makes a nicer product for multi-use. Uh, I gotta say, I really like the, the traction of it. Uh, I think, you know, from what I have read and heard, uh, the traction when it's wet is still fantastic. So uh, I was a little concerned, you know, adding a bunch of weight to this. I'd have to put some more wraps on the spring, but I, I took off the original... Uh, wood transition flap and that thing is heavy. I mean this door is so much lighter because these are uh, not very heavy uh, One downside I guess is that you know, you got to flip this thing up as well before you close the door you can see I, uh, I had to notch these uh, Edge glides and then the edge guards kind of taper in near the end so that I have clearance for when that closes and so they don't get bound up on the cables. And I mounted, I, I thought about putting this one on the floor versus the ramp. If I had put it on the ramp, I think I could have just closed it and had it just ride over, but then it would always be jamming in over the top of my tie downs here, which now that I look at it, those tie downs may have limited utility with that flap on there. We'll see. Anyway, um, this stuff cuts super easy on the table saw. Uh, I didn't particularly like Cutting all these uh, mitered, I don't know what you'd call it, the angled pieces anyway, because I would uh, just mark it with a straight edge and then freehand it on the table saw. Anyway, worked out fine. Sure looks good. It was a lot of cuts. It took me all day. But anything worth doing, worth doing right. I'm glad I bought some extras, so I got some spares in case I screwed anything up or mismeasured or whatever. So I've got a few spares for if they get catastrophically damaged, I can swap them out. Uh, all this is pretty much waste. Anyway, now she's ready 
for all four seasons.